Hey, small group leaders, uh, coming to you with the vlog for uh, February 28th for senior high and March 1st for junior high. Uh, we are in James chapter three this week, and we're talking about the infamous taming of the tongue. Uh, so here is, uh, the points for this week are pretty simple. Uh, we're gonna be talking about steering, taming, and blazing. Um, now I know, you know, your kids are gonna be like, Ha ha ha, he said blazing, but we're not talking about smoking marijuana. We're talking about uh, how a tongue can set uh, the world around it on fire. Um, so uh, you're going to notice that in this week's uh, small group sheets, there uh, for senior high, there are only two true false questions. Uh, I think this chapter or this portion of scripture is fairly straightforward. So the true false uh, we're just going to have two questions there, but we're going to have a lot of discussion questions. So hopefully that uh, that will eat up your time, uh, not too quickly, but uh, so that you get some good um, good feedback in. So let me go through the questions. Number one, what you say has no effect on what you believe. And of course, this is false. Uh, we have to remember that the out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. So what is on the inside will come out, and that typically comes out through our tongues and through how we talk to people. Number two, a careless word can be the most damaging thing that a person can experience that day. Uh, that's true. Um, we don't know what a person is going through when we first walk up to them. And oftentimes we walk up and we say something and, uh, and that can be very damaging to that person. Uh, I've seen this happen a lot. So um, we need to make sure that we are keeping control, that we are taming the tongue, that we are listening people. Uh, and again, we will, as I do the talk for the week, um, we are going to reference back to being uh, quick to hear and slow to speak and how those things can help tame the tongue. So here's your discussion questions for senior high. Number one, why is it so hard to tame the tongue? Of course, it is because we often speak without thinking, we speak out of the overflow of the evilness in our heart. Even as Christians, we still are not perfect and sometimes we just let things out of our mouths or we, we get really angry with people or you know the frustration in our hearts is, is delivered through the tongue. And so it is very hard to tame the tongue. Number two, where does this talk about the tongue fit in with the other parts of this book? So again, talking Christian ethics, uh, as James does, talking how we live because of what Christ has done, um, how we live in light of that. Uh, this, is, this fits in with all of that stuff, all that stuff we talked about last week, how we live out our faith um, and, and things like that. This deals, this just flows naturally out of that. When we're visiting orphans and widows and when the Holy Spirit is, um, is convicting us and changing us from the inside out, then eventually that will work into the things we say. And hopefully not just eventually, hopefully that will start there. Uh, number three, what are some ways that you and I can tame our tongues? Again, we want to go back to the slow to speak, uh, slow to anger, listening a lot. We want to talk about um, you know, being in the Word, we want to talk about uh, when we spend a lot of time praying, we, we begin to lose all of that uh, angst and anger and things that come out. When we talk to God a lot, we, we then talk to people like we should. And so we want to talk about those things. And then and practically, we want to talk about just paying attention to what we say, paying attention to, you know, putting a, a stop gap in between our brain and our mouths. And some people, you know, joke that there's no filter and we want to put that filter on there. We want that filter to be uh, Jesus Christ and the word of God. So those are ways that we can tame our tongue. Number four, how do we use what we say to glorify God? Now this, I want you to get into talking about presenting or sharing the gospel, being evangelists. Uh, we glorify God in being kind and being thoughtful and being merciful and compassionate. We, we glorify God by exemplifying His characteristics. And so when we talk about glorifying God through the tongue, we look at what God has said to us in Scripture and we look at the gospel and we look at how that gospel has changed us and so how should we talk to other people. Um, I know it's rampant in our youth group that you know we, we like to say mean things and and you know th this is very convicting for me because I'm right up there with anyone else um, I, I tend towards the sarcastic um, and and I tend towards the biting and and so this is very uh, this is very convicting for me as well we need to make sure that what we say here 
agrees with what God says in Scripture. And we need to not give ourselves the liberty to say something nasty and then just go, I'm joking. Uh, and so that's, that's question number four. Number five, how have you used words this week both for God's glory and to hurt others? Now this one hopefully is, is convicting to your students um, in your small group. I want you to actually have them think, has the general pattern of my speech this week been to glorify God and all that He is, to uh, uplift His people, to present His gospel, or have I spent more of my week uh, bringing other people down? Um, saying things that you know have to be repented of and so hopefully that will be very personal so that's what I got for you in the small group times this week uh, hopefully that works for you again if you have any suggestions or you know if you just thought you're sitting there reading this or hearing this and you're like man I got the greatest true false question or I got the greatest discussion question on this topic feel free to email me and if it's a good one I'll toss it in there all right Thanks so much, senior high leaders. On to junior high leaders. Junior high leaders, uh, we are going through the same thing. We are uh, steering, taming, and blazing. We're talking about um, the awful things that our tongues can do to people. And we can talk about, and we're going to talk about how once tamed, how they uh, honor God. And so, but yours is a little different. You have more true false questions and uh, a few different uh, discussion questions. So, on to you guys. So, number one, what you say has no effect on what you believe. False. Out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. What we believe comes out. Number two, a careless word can be the most damaging thing. We got those two. Um, you hopefully heard that in the senior high one. But uh, yes, we don't know what a person's gone through that day or that week or that month or in their lifetime. So we have to be careful what we say. We need to be quick to listen and slow to speak. Number three, when I call my brother or sister a name, it's really no big deal. Uh, this again is false. Remember, your brother and your sister are created in the image of God just like you are. And so when you make fun of them or when you curse them, uh, you are cursing what God has done. Bad, bad stuff. Okay. Number four, it's okay to say something mean as long as I say just joking. Uh, this one, man, this is like the junior high kryptonite when it comes to your mouth. Uh, you know, kids will say something awful mean, and this happens in my house. This happens everywhere I've been amongst junior high and, and often senior high kids as well. You know, they'll say something like, you're stupid, and then they go, just kidding. And the reality is you're not. And so um, it is not okay. That is false. It is not okay to say just joking because you are doing damage to one of God's creation. So in your discussion questions, it's a little bit different. Why is it so hard to tame the tongue? Uh, again, you'll have to lead in junior high a little more on that one than you would in senior high. Number two, what are some things that you say that are hurtful to others? So ask your students to think about the things that they say throughout their week um, to their parents, to their teachers, uh, to their siblings. What do they say to their friends? What do they say that's hurtful to other people? And the question here is aimed at just identifying patterns of behavior. Number three, what are some ways that you and I can tame our tongues? So flow out of that question into this question. So because you say all those bad things, now how do you stop doing that? By the grace of God, how do you stop doing that? So we, we don't want to just go, okay, I'm going to think about this. I'm not going to do it anymore. How through God's work, through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, how are we going to change who we are? And so uh, you'll get into touching on topics like sanctification. Uh, remember, junior hires don't understand big words like that uh, too much. We've explained it a few times, but still, um, you know, don't lay on too heavily with the sanctification, but talk about how God changes us and use personal stories. How has God changed you and how you speak and act? Uh, number four, how do we use what we say to glorify God? And again, uh, just like in senior high, how are the things that we say going to glorify God? Again, talk about presenting the gospel, not being afraid to be an evangelist in their schools or at home, to talk about God's word, read God's word, let God's word change us. And so the things that will come out of our mouths will be different. All right, junior high, senior high, thank you so much. I could not do this without you guys, uh, and we have a great group of students. I uh, love being with them. So anyway, you guys have a good week. I'm praying for you and your small groups, and uh, 
yeah, look forward to seeing you this week. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.